Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 framework tutorial. This is our part number 37. Inside this video, we are going to continue query builder method and inside this we will discuss about joins using query builder. Also guys, before starting this video, I strongly suggest to know about the complete basics of joins. You have to go out to our YouTube channel. You will find a playlist called MySQL Basics and Expert Sessions. Now if you click on this playlist, here as we can see that inside this playlist, we have several different different concepts. So inside these videos, as we can see we have joins, inner join, left join. So more about the joins and their basic concepts we will get from this video or from this playlist. Because inside this video, we are not going to discuss about the basics, instead we are going to use some query builder methods. So in query builder, we have three different methods. The first method is all about join. Second method we have called left join. Third method we have called right join. So inside this video, we are going to use all these three methods. And we will see that how can we implement inner join left join and right join concept using query builder. So if I back to browser, back to our database. So inside this we have two tables called students and courses. Now if I open into a new tab, open into a new tab. So inside this students table, we have the student data. This is ID and rest of the columns. Now if I back to our courses table, so inside this courses table, we have ID, student ID, name and amount. It means for this courses table, student ID is a foreign key. Student ID is associated with this ID column of this students table. It means let's say student ID equals to 4, name equal to WordPress and this is amount. It means the fourth number ID student Rahul Singh has purchased this course WordPress with an amount of 100. So right now in this case we have two tables, one is students and the second table we have courses. So we are going to make use of the concept of joins and take a data set by applying our query. So back to editor. So let's say that in the first we are going to use the join method. So by the help of join method Behind the scene, it is going to create the inner join query. Inner join says that if inside these tables, let's say students and courses, if both conditions will be true, then the common value will be returned or the common data set will be returned. It means for this table, we have fourth number ID, eighth number ID and twelfth number ID. So when we do our query then it is going to match the 4th number ID, 8th number, 12th number. So all these ID will match for from this table and the common values will be returned. So in this case means inside this table also we have an ID of 699 which does not exist inside this table. Let's say that if we transfer the data inside descending order so the maximum value of an ID equals to 500, so 699 we don't have. So it is not going to return. It is going to return the 4th number ID, 8th number ID and 12th number ID because these ID, we have those IDs inside this table. So let's start the make use of the concept of joins. So let's say students equal to DB class. Here we have the table method. We need to pass the table name called students and inside these students we are going to make use of join and let's say that we are going to join with the courses table. In the second we need to pass the column name of our students table. So let's say that inside students table. So if I copy so inside, inside students table we have an ID which is equals to it means equals to sign and inside next we have our courses table and inside this courses table we have the column as student ID if I toggle word wrap so here we have DB 
table it is going to make use of the inner join it is going to compare the student id of courses table with the id column of students table if both rows have their common values then the common data set will be returned so finally we are going to use the get method so let's use our pre-formatting tab so pre tag let's say print r and here we have let's say students variable now if we save all these changes go to web.php to see the route so it is something students back to browser and let's start our development server php artisan serve 127 i think development server now started reload this page and here inside this route type students and inside this data as we can see that the common value let's say fourth number id means student id here we have eighth number id that is student id here we have the student id equals to 12 now these values are returned so successfully we have selected all the data but in some cases let's say that we want to filter our data we don't want all these columns what we are getting instead we want let's say the name and the email column from this students table as well as let's say name and amount from this courses table so how can we select back to editor go to controller again we are going to use the concept of select method already we had seen in our previous video and we want students dot name let's say we are creating an alias let's say student name comma next we have students dot email students is the table name and email is the column so let's say email in the third we want courses dot name let's say that course underscore name and finally we want all about let's say courses dot amount as amount so if we save all these changes and also I'm going to concatenate one more column let's say we want the ID of a student so a student dot ID this is not a student students so if we save back to browser reload this page now as we can see that here we have the student ID student name email course name and the amount so this is the use of inner join it means the common value will be returned inside this result set as we can see that the 699 value what we have inside this courses table is not returned because this id 699 does not exist inside this students table let's see the use of left join so here inside this query we can see that this is a table and inside this join method we have a table just look at this query inside this query this is a left table and this is a right table so when we use the left join it means the left handed side all the values should return if the value does not exist inside this table then those values will come as a null value so how can we achieve simply go here and type left join that's it it means it will go for the first this table it will pick all the rows means let's say 500 rows we have so it will select all the rows and those rows which exist inside this courses table then those matched value will be returned otherwise the left-handed side columns means all the rows should return now if we save all these changes back to browser reload this page now as we can see that the, it is exist this exist this exist means these are the columns actually matched with our courses table but for these columns let's say for id equals to 3 
five, six. Now we can see that the course name is coming empty, amount is coming empty. Inside this list, all the rows of left-handed side means students table should return, but in case of courses table, those values will be returned when the student ID should match with our student ID of students table. Now let's use all about right join. So here, inside this query, this is left-handed side table and this is right-handed side table. So when we use the right join concept, then all the rows means all the values of this table should return and the match value of the strings table should return only. In case of right join, all the columns this time we are getting from this courses table. So to use that, simply get rid of this left and type here right join. So if we save all these changes, go and reload this page. Now as we can see that we are getting this 4th number ID, 8th number ID and 12th number ID. Inside these fields means inside these objects we are getting all the values. Because for these columns we have the matched row with this students table and courses table. But keep in mind we have used the right join concept. So inside this table we have a column with student ID equals to 699. But this column does not exist inside this student's table. So now here as we can see that the 699 means rows return but these values are empty. So in case of right join, we are going to get all the data of right handed side table and the values which matches with our left handed side table will get all about the matched value otherwise they come as an empty value but in case of left join left handed side table is going to return all the values with matched row with the right hand side table and the rest values should be null value so this is the overall concept of inner join left join and right join if suppose this video is going to be little bit confusing to you, so I have suggested that you must watch all these videos like joins, inner join and left join. So inside next video guys, we will discuss some insert, update and delete method of let's say query builder method. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.